Hello everybody. Uh, during this period of worldwide crisis, if uh, the general confinement makes it possible to slow down the progression of COVID-19, time is running out to help treat the greatest number of severely affected patients. So FAMIC Technologies want to help if it is possible and is aimed at all companies engaged by the government to help produce artificial respirators for the various national health systems. The goal of this video is to show you in few minutes how to model an artificial respirator to help you to reinforce your laboratory test to speed up the design process for people who are or who like us are not medical device designer. So if your company own a license of Automation Studio, then share this post with its users. And if you do not have our software, know that many schools have the educational version. Thanks to this video to finalize the modeling based on your inputs. We're going to release uh, next week on our forum a Perix file compatible with all versions, uh, educational, professional, and corporate in 6.4 SR2 release. So this model uh, of artificial respirator is not taken uh, from any manufacturer. It is just a simplified model to show you how it is feasible in Automation Studio and to help you to do your own. The main function of this device, of course, is to provide a specific amount of air and oxygen uh, mechanically to the lung of the patient. So we can see in this circuit, we have the circuit of artificial breath, which is done with pneumatic technologies. And there is two cylinder. I will explain why we have model in this way. We have some uh, set of valves and of course we have uh, the lungs. The lungs, we have modeled them with few accumulator. But as the pro main problematic of the design of an artificial regulator is more on the breathe side and not the motorization of this uh, regulator, we have done it uh, hydraulically but eventually you can do it uh, more realistically by using electrical component, pneumatic component. Another function which is really important is to provide a specific uh, mix of air and oxygen. So we have used the pneumatic library to do this, but uh, you need to know that you are able to change the nature of the gas used in a pneumatic circuit so if we figure about the mixed, as we don't simulate the accurate behavior of a mix between air and oxygen, we have used simplified air to emulate this behavior. Now, if we focus on the oxygen feed circuit, so if I select this functional group and I select the component belonging to it, so we see all these components belong to this uh, oxygen think group and there is the gas use is oxygen. In the same way, if we select the air feed circuit and we select the component belonging to it, we see that we have used air. To control the flow and the nature of the gas, uh, we have different control that has been built with a controller. And to control the system, to command it, we have created a simplified control panel by using the HMI module. I just want to mention that to be as accurate as possible for the simulation, if you don't work with our manufacturer catalog, it is important to know that for each component, you are able to enter the specification of each component uh, that you can see here. For example, we talk about the uh, flow curves or the pressure drops, the, some leaks. So you can refine completely the modeling by implementing in each component the PIF specific them. Uh, now, regarding the length modeling, I would like to show you how it has been done. So I will unlock this layer it. You see here, I have used 
not one accumulator but three accumulator each of them has them as their own volume uh, not really the same and i put three orifices each orifice can be set with the orifice uh, diameter uh, required i don't have the realistic value but as soon as uh, by experience in hospital they can guess the resistance and the designer or the manufacturer of such device have some data that they can implement in those components because the path of the breathed air in the body is not at all like in a hydraulic or pneumatic circuit the flexible are really uh, organic and they react differently and I think the best way to model this is a few accumulator with different uh, orifice size. I would like to mention and explain why we have used uh, two cylinder for uh, the artificial breath. It is because in this model we have two type of control. We have the volume control and we have the pressure control. In real device, maybe there is more control, but the concept, the principle is the same and can be developed uh, in the same way of those one. And those two cylinders has different, have different value uh, regarding the diameter. So if I display the diameter, we can see here the piston diameter is different. One is, is 50 millimeter and uh, the other one, so two, two inches, and the other one is more than four uh, inches. And depending of the control I choose, so if I launch the simulation, I am able to select. So currently the volume control is selected and we see that this valve is shift in this direction. So if you figure when you extend, I'm doing right now, the cylinder, we see that the flow is going this way out from this cylinder while this one was filling the circuit. During the exhalation, they are failed, filled simultaneously. If I change my control now, I shift the valve and now we see that the flow is going from the top cylinder to the lamp and the other one is exhaust outside. So that's why we have used this uh, motor now, these two pneumatic cylinders are synchronized with the hydraulic cylinder. The way to do this is by using a mechanism and linked, we have linked together all the cylinder. This mechanism manager will show you how it has been done. And also we have in the mechanism viewer, we can see how it works. So we have declared some body, so we have each cylinder that you have here, the cylinder in the bottom, the pneumatic one. We have this one, uh, the P1, that is the one of the top, that is corresponding to this one. And we have the hydraulic H7, which is finally the modeling of the, not the modeling, but the link with this cylinder. And by using the mechanism manager, by using different uh, mechanical link, pivot and clamping, we have uh, we are able to simulate the behavior uh, of this link and now we are able to push the hydraulic is able to control the pneumatic side the last things to see now is how the control logic has been done and also how the control of the percentage of oxygen in uh, with the air has been uh, is controlled so the control logic is done by an SFC. The SFC is a module that is able to monitor, to send a signal, sorry, to the different uh, valves. Here you can see solenoid, and there is some signal that are sent from this module directly to those valves. You can uh, recognize by the name, for example, here we have inspiration, fill. We can recognize here some the same name. So it means in a rectangle, we have some action. So in this uh, step six, for example, inspiration is zero. So it means this value is, will be zero. And 
the mix will be one. Mix will be one, it means we're gonna send a signal to shift this valve to send air through this uh, the blower. And according to this signal, we, I'm gonna show you how with controller we are able to send the appropriate percentage of air that is selected here. Sorry, here. Uh, so this is done to activate components with Boolean or real value. And if I start my simulation, for example, I will see that currently we are jammed in the step one because, so these actions are done. So exhalation is zero, for example. So it means this solenade is not activated. Inspiration is zero. So it means this solenoid is uh, uh, deactivated, the same for field. So that's why we are in this position currently for all the valves. But as soon as I'm gonna start now the, re the respirator, we see that we have shift here and now we have some control that are done automatically. So the valves are shifted according to the value of the variable. So this is for the control logic. And now to finalize the explanation of the modeling, we have to talk about how is control the different valve to assume the percentage of air or to assume that the pressure has reached the uh, set value or that the volume sent by this cylinder is rich according to this value. For all those uh, type of control, we use the same object, which we'll call controller, they, I put them onto a specific layer and each controller, so for example, this one will send a signal to this valve. As soon as the controller has done its calculation, a value is sent and the valve is positioning accordingly to this value to respect the percentage of air. So how is built this uh, equation? You need to know that each controller, uh, this one, for example, will use this, the value coming from this button, while the controller of the uh, volume control will use this input value as a setting point and the pressure control this value. The main important thing to remind is that you have to make a scale. If you want to talk in a cubic centimeter or inch, cubic inch, you have to make a scale. There is three examples, the volume control, the, the, sorry, the volume control cylinder, the position control cylinder, the pressure control cylinder, and we have also the percentage of air. So in, in this case, if we visit the output of this uh, controller, we see that we use the uh, value of this HMI CIS transmitter, so this transmitter, you see there is a name here. We use this value and we compare it. Ooh, there is comparison between the setting, setting value and the pneumatic flow that is measured by this flow meter. So in this case, we compare uh, the pneumatic flow measured at atmospheric pressure, not the compressed flow, because the two gas can react differently and we guess that the proportion is established at an atmospheric pressure. What I'm talking about, you have the two plotters here for the mix of air. And if we start here, so this is the pressure in green, we have the pressure in the lungs. And in blue, we have the pressure of the output of the respirator. While in the plotter in the bottom, we have here the flow of the oxygen and in blue the flow of the air and of course if we adjust we can modify the percentage sent in the mix so if we consider uh, almost 10 percent we will see that the value will reach this 10 percent just remind that this model is done with default value that the order of magnitude of the value are close of what we have seen on the web, but you have to adjust this model uh, 
more accurate value for all those uh, properties. So I'm talking about the volume of the accumulator that model the length of the, of the patient. We, I'm talking about those value uh, sent, the setting of those. Uh, I'm talking also about those type of setting. And of course, about the timing, you can adjust the frequency uh, of the breathing of the patient must be adjust. So it depends, of course, of different parameters, such like the, vol the displacement of the pump and so on. So we hope at FAMIC that uh, this demonstration will help users of Automation Studio and company that participate in the elaboration quick design and building of such a device that are so important at this time. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, I wish you good health. Take care of you.